Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my higher education. So today we're going to be cutting a long layered cut and it's going to be a salon friendly haircut. I'm going to create soft layers overall. So if your client wants to maintain her length and wants a bit of change, it's going to be the perfect technique for you to implement in the hair salon. So basically, uh, if, ever, if you watched my last video, uh, the squared layers, which I strongly suggest, we took layers like this pretty much in squared. But today I will be cutting at 90 degrees from shorter to the interior to longer. And you'll see more of a shorter layer going to longer. And I'm gonna pivot diagonally everywhere to have movement. So I'm gonna take a horseshoe section, horseshoe section, and I will cut it wet. And the top part, I will cut it dry. So I need you to stick with me guys to the end of this video because I'm going to be face framing the front and I'm going to do a lot of dry cutting and point cutting for you to see. So stay tuned and check it out. Here's the sectioning uh, from the temple going back just under the crown. So I'm going to show you the separation as you can see. And <clears throat> This part will be dry cut. I'll be connecting it at the end. So I'm going to be starting the layers. Okay, so we want, let's say our layer to drop about here. I don't want too much of a difference from her length because if you start like layering over here, it's going to take off a lot of weakness. So let's start. You can always change, you know, you could gauge, you could go a bit shorter and then Longer, so let's cut it short. So I'm cutting shorter at the from the inside and longer to the perimeter line. Okay, so I'm going to take diagonal forward pivoting lines because I want to create movement. So as you can see, I'm not taking a straight vertical line because I find I mean, it's nice, but I find someone that it just gives it more of a flatter look. So I want to create more movement. So I take my section here. I could see my guide right over here. And I cut it short to long. So I'm going to over direct it to my last section only. I mean, I have leverage because with my model, Stephanie, she has the care. So I'm not too afraid of cutting more layers. Okay, connect this here. See our guide. Take half. Okay, so I'm going towards the front. I'm going to do a slight over direction because I feel the hair is slightly weaker in the front. So just a bit to maintain length and to have more leverage to face frame over the front at the end. So I'm going to take the section. Always make sure 
that you see your guide and have control when you comb. So I'm going to keep the same elevation, 90 degrees. We're cutting, by cutting like that, we're cutting shorter in the interior and longer in the perimeter line. Perimeter. <laughs> Sounds funny when I say perimeter. Okay. So always diagonal forward for movement. You can see that the layer are going to be softer and have a better finish. See your guide. So I'm going through my right side, same thing, and I do diagonal forward, grab my guide. See our guide.
So I'm heading towards the front, start over directing, just on top of the ear. Same elevation, 90 degrees, cutting shorter from the inside, longer at the perimeter line. Perimeter <laughs> line. So I'm going to elevate, part in over direct just over the ear to my guy. Just refresh this section. Okay. So guys, my third section, I'll be cutting it dry. So we already have our layers created. And why do I cut it dry, especially the top part and the front part, because of the visual you get for the finishing look. It's always, it's, it's so important to see where you're heading. So I, I, I really suggest you cut the hair dry uh, at the end of your haircuts or the top parts because you could really see your finishing look. So stay tuned, we're blow drying the hair and Stay tuned for the finished look. So this is the uh, blow dry look, flat iron. So as I said, my horseshoe section will be cut dry. Now we got two scenarios. See the model Stephanie has wavy curly hair. And um, so what happens now is that the layer we created underneath right here. I don't wish to have it as short. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretty much cut it from shorter to longer and have some this softness, a bit of unevenness. So when she has it natural, it doesn't go puffy that much. So this is pretty exciting because that's what happens uh, when you have blow dry the hair and you have a visual. So. That's where I'm gonna be heading. I'm gonna continue with my diagonal forward sections. I'm gonna take my section throughout the crown that was isolated. So the radial on top to the ear of the ear. And take my section right here, right here. I'm just going to put it 
down a bit. So you can see the guide right over here. Like so, I'm going to cut it going longer. So this is what's awesome right now is that you have this, these layers created, not necessarily following each other to create all that softness. So we're going to continue through the angle forward to give us that movement. And I'm going to follow what I've created. We'll find my guide. Go right over here. And I'm going to follow what I've created. So you're going to go in a moving motion, going from shorter to longer. So I take my diagonal forward section, and you can see the sectioning, so this is important in this haircut. I did it all the way through it to give us that movement throughout the hair. It gives us a soft layer and this beautiful salon friendly haircut. Guys, uh, please let us know what you think about this haircut. You know, uh, your comments, uh, your likes, they're very important. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to our page, you know, click the little icon in front of you on the bottom right. So you can see our new videos, our updates, everything. Okay. So let's continue. It's my guide and my new guideline created. So as you can see, I'm going to start cutting shorter to longer, and, I'm, and I don't stop my scissors because it's very important to create that. Start over directing like I did, just on top of the ear. And I head through our left section, same thing, diagonal forward. I'm gonna just take a bigger section. Okay, so I come from the roots up, and I'm gonna follow through. short to long. Here's my new guide.
go to the section. Let me move forward. Follow your guide. And cut with a moving motion, shorter to longer. Start over directing. Start having a bit less hair because of the previous haircuts and layers, so it's normal that you see less hair through the front. This is my section. I'm gonna slide cut. I'm not gonna slide cut from the back, from the front, front of the hair. Why? Because of the control, the motion. So start closing. And you can see what it creates. I'm gonna continue through. See my guide? Where the hair is going, I'm not going like that, neither like that. I'm just staying at a 45 degree angle and I'm kind of going and twisting to keep it a bit longer. Okay. I'm going to continue through, take my other section, clip the hair. So I'll go find my guide. You can see it over here. You can even take out the hair and slide, cut it. Always keep scissors moving in motion. And you can do this in two or three parts. You know, you don't have to grab the whole thing. It's all about control. Same thing, but for this part, I'm still gonna just slide a bit. Okay. See, and I'm going to clip it, clip it out of the way, it's useful. So I'm going to grab the guide right over here that I created by slide cutting the right side. And I'm going to do the same from this side, I'm going to, as you can see, I'm behind the model. And I'm going to take half of that, always think about control, always think where your hair is growing. If my hair is growing from here, I'm gonna stay in this angle. I'm not gonna go here or here. So you see my guide right over here. So I'm at 45, your hair is growing this way. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start slide cutting slowly and towards the frame, towards the face, not the frame. I'm framing, but framing towards the face. Okay, let's continue through. Other section. As you can see, my section again. I just want to make sure that you see. Clip it out of the way. Oops, sorry. Pulling your hair. It's not nice. Okay, 45 degree angle, see where your hair is growing, your guide, 
Their scissors are moving. This is the mo an emotion of movement to create that frame, that beautiful frame. Okay, on your side. Here's the final look, beautiful, beautiful layers, super salon friendly. So to uh, have a recap, we did a elevation from here throughout pivoting diagonal forward sections. I blow dried the top part, my horseshoe section, and I just, I did a small connection by going from shorter to longer to have beautiful movement and not too much steps. So you can have shorter and longer layers. Went and did some face framing around the face to make it sexy and soft. All right guys, so don't forget to like our video. Tell us what you think. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our new videos coming very soon.